Yo, what's going on, man? Welcome to our review of Power Episode 3. Are we on the same team? Dane Diddy? Vicious Ace. Bang, bang, boomerang. Yeah, man. I don't really know where to start this week. I don't either. I was thinking let's, about that as well. Let's start with Tony Teresa. Okay. Good place to start. What What do you think he's trying to do? At this point, I don't know. Because he's kind of played all of us, really. Yeah. Because I, I'm more so uh, with Tommy's mom now. Like, you know, watch out for him. Like, I, f- I feel like she had a legitimate reason uh, to not let Tommy want to get in with his father. Because it turns out he might be using them. What do you think? I have faith in the OG. You know what I mean? I have faith. I just got a feeling he wants to see his wife. You know, one last time, he maybe talk to her and, and you know, go out like OG. Do you think Tommy's going to let this get over his head? Do you think he's not taking the necessary precautions? No, I mean, Tommy's definitely going to take the necessary precautions. I'm not 100% sure where this is going. I don't know if it's going to be Teresi feeling like, you know, I'm going to just have my son take my place in jail by setting him up. But then again, I don't know if he, I, I don't know if he would have done so much as to let him so deep into basically the mafia yeah. without, you know, unless he was in, was that like really your angle to, to get out of jail? It doesn't seem, something doesn't seem right. I feel like I don't have enough information to say that he's really trying to snitch. Right. You think he's trying to take down the family, you know, just out of revenge? No, no absolutely not. Because yeah. he, he's been in jail all this time. He would have been did that. Yeah, so it's like, why now? Why make this move now? Congressman Tate, man, how you feeling about him right now? Hmm. I don't know, man. He he's, I really don't like him. Yeah. <laughs> and it's hard to say because you know I love Lorenz Tate as an actor, but Same man, here. every time he look at Jamie, just with that councilman type face, and it's just like, you know, just trust me. And Ghost is like, no, man, I'm, I'm about to do this on my own way. But I don't like him, man. I I really don't like what he's bringing to the table. It seemed like it's gonna make life worse for Ghost. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand the partnership. I don't see why he needs Tate at all. So, yeah, I, I don't get it. I mean, for real, for real, Tate needs him. Yeah. Because obviously, we see Tate's running for governor. I don't see what his end goal is. I feel like somewhere along the line, Rayner's name is gonna be not added to this center that yeah. he's trying to open. Like, I feel like he's just using Ghost's image. To help him get across, it's like being a man of the people yep. when it comes to running a race against governor. I'm working with somebody from the hood, from your neighborhood. Y'all know him. I just think that's like, that just comes off as what he's doing. Yeah. Your boy Kanan, man, it seems like Special K is trying to get <laughs> everybody. You don't, you don't remember they called him that? Yeah, I do. Uh, <laughs> it seems like Special K is trying to get everybody to beef with each other, man. So what do you think Kanan's deal is right now? I think Kanan's trying to get back in the game. Well, by any means necessary. And I think he sees this opportunity just to kind of infiltrate, you know, wreck some shit so he can step in and just say, hey, I can save the day. <laughs> I agree. Because, you know, everybody, I remember at the, at the start of this, uh, or end of the last season, like, yo, it's about to be the original three. I'm like, y'all think this is going to be like some long Avengers team up? Team up? I was Kanan, <laughs> Kanan has a plan. He has had a plan from the jump. And even though I was excited at the possibility of all these characters working together, I knew Kanan is going to have his own motive because he's not buddy-buddy with anybody. He's all about himself. Yeah. Now, Kanan is playing the game perfectly. He, he He's friends with 2-Bit. Yep. So he has an in on Jimenez. John, uh, oh, is that his name? John, the, the guy that's running uh, the dude that Tommy's working for. I be- yeah, something like that. Well, whoever Tommy's yeah. working for, his yeah. last name starts with an M, I feel like. Mm. But uh, whoever he's working Jason. for. Jason. Jason, there you go. Jason, he, he's in with Tommy now, so now he's going to technically be working for Jason. Right, right. At the end of the day, I just feel like Kanan is trying to get everybody to beef with each other yeah. and fall back. He goes slide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because you, you see he tried to, he put the, the doubt in ghosts. Like, yeah. yo, you would have been out of this if it wasn't for Tommy. And then, uh, and then today he put the, he, he put told it down. Ghost, yeah. yeah, he told he told Tommy yeah. like yo he ain't got no he ain't got no reason to yeah, be in out. after this is done. He's doing he's what the perfect like the perfect man in this situation would do. He's taking the easy way out, just observing everything that's coming his way, and when the time comes, he'll take the perfect opportunity to make a move. Yeah, my and, favorite part of the episode is definitely when Keisha not Keisha 
when Tasha was at Tommy's door and Kanan got off the elevator. Yeah. Yeah. Just the way he said, sorry about rain. Yeah, uh, like he said it. I was so, like, yeah. The way he said it, he didn't seem like he was sorry at all. Yeah. But that's just Kanan's asshole character. But how did you feel about that confrontation? Tasha ain't scared of him at all. Yeah. Like Tasha, like literally bossed up on him. Was like, nigga, if you kill me, or what, what did she say? She I said, forgot. If she you do something to me, you better, you better kill me. Yeah, yeah. And she's definitely not scared of or intimidated by him did at her all. Little Kim not come out at that. Oh, moment. Okay. All <laughs> came yeah. out. Yeah, she, she reached into that little Kim from Notorious. That shit yeah. came out right in that moment. Like, yeah. I was just like, that's some shit Kim would say. Yeah, yeah. that's what would Kim do. Yeah. How but did you feel about it, man? Hey, it was powerful scene, man. Like, um. I think she hates that man. I she hates that guy. Yeah. And um, so yeah, I want to see how that how that plays out because she wants that guy gone. I think she said something to Ghost about it too. Mm-hmm. You want to kill somebody, kill Kana. Yeah. Know? So uh, she's. I think her whole goal is to get rid of this guy. Do you feel like Ghost is just dealing with grief in any way possible this episode? Not even just the vigilante, but even sleeping with. Um, the, uh, I forgot what her name was in the show. I want to uh, say fancy. fancy, but I'm not <laughs> no. going to say fancy. But I forget what her name was in the show. But I feel like he's taking his grief out multiple ways, you know. Because, you know, even after he had sex with her, he's calling Angie. Angie, I need to talk to you and everything like that. Yeah. So I feel like he really doesn't know what he wants to do. He's kind of confused, just, you know, really convulted. Yeah, I agree with you, man. Ghost seems really lost. Uh, Tasha seems lost. And it's just like both of them are lost and they're dealing with it separately. They're not dealing with it together. They're not no. trying to be on the same page. Mm-hmm. And Ghost's anger, he's just trying to physically take it out. And Tasha, she's trying to find a, a you know way to grieve it out, but it's just tough. And she doesn't trust Keisha all the way. She's tired of dealing with it by herself. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like that's going to take a toll on her and everybody else around her. And something's gonna happen to where I feel like just everybody's gonna split up. Like, yeah. it's gonna be everybody for themselves because nobody's together on anything right now when you really think about it. Yeah. So, when it came to Dre this episode, was it just me or the, the Jimenez or Diego sensed that homeboy was lying about killing the other guy? Because Absolutely. the way he kept looking at him, Cause he was talking about fear and he just kept looking at him and you can tell he was scared. And Diego was just like, you can see the hesitation in him to, to pull the, you know, to, to shoot him. Yeah. Diego knows he's lying. Oh, absolutely. And he knows that Dre's lying. Mm-hmm. Obviously him and Crystal Ball was talking about him watching Dre. Yeah. That's why he's the number two, but Dre already said he was the number two. Mm-hmm. It, I felt like he just said that out loud just to rub two bit in them the wrong way like that's not why Diego said it Diego said it to let Dre know but it just seemed like it, it made just two bit that much more matter if any way if anything it's making Dre really unstable because you know by the first episode I'm like yo Dre about to have this season oh, yeah, on yeah. lock <laughs> he about to have everything in control but he's being pretty sloppy he's not really commanding he's not really taking his position of power really Seriously, and I think he's messing himself up in his image. And I and I think I think he's just getting introduced to this game, and it's not as easy, you know, as he probably thought it was. So all that cockiness is starting to slowly fade away. Yeah, and I think he's starting to really see that hey, uh, this shit is real. Because you yeah. already got two of your people, yeah, not even two, even Crystal Ball kind of doubting him. Ben, it's just like you don't have everybody on one accord, and that's not gonna be good, especially when you're dealing with the Jimenez. You don't have nobody on the same page with you, basically. Yeah. Yeah, and Alicia has been missing for a while. We yeah. haven't seen her in a couple episodes now. It's been basically just Diego. Yeah, but now they, you know, Angie just found out that, you know, it's not the brothers. It's the brother and sisters. Yeah. So, Will she'll probably Angela be, get killed trying to go talk to Alicia? It's highly possible. Oh, you yeah. Know, she's Especially she's now. getting she's getting way too in deep to things, trying to cover up a lot of things. If she don't get ki- she killed, she's going to get caught by the... the det- Blanca. Blanca, yeah. Blanca. So, I mean, you know... We'll see where that goes. I see what they're trying to do. You know, they got, you know, dynamic with her and Tasha and everything, but I don't think that's going to last even longer because Tasha just might just be like, you know, F it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Proctor. Mm. 
He's trying to stay far stay away. Stay the fuck yeah. away from me. He's, <laughs> Can you try not to call me when you need something? He's trying to stay far away from everybody. He don't want nothing to deal with anybody. At but least he until he gets his license back. Yeah. Because then he could actually have a conversation. He's like, yo, do you know somebody that can clean money? He's like, yo, I can't hear that. <laughs> yeah. I can't hear that type of stuff. Like, if I'm your lawyer, yeah. you can tell me that. And I, it's, it's attorney-client privilege. I, I'm legally not allowed to talk about that. Yeah. Right. But I'm not your attorney. You can't tell me that because I would have to talk about that in court. Yep. You right. know what I'm saying? So Proctor, man, I like Proctor a lot. I hope they don't do anything to make me hate him. It all goes back to that laptop, man. Yeah. I mean, I know it's going to come up. Mm-hmm. It's definitely going to come up. It's just a matter of time. Uh, you know, I don't know if y'all saw the theory online where people were saying that Tariq needs to kill Desiree. You mean Destiny? Uh, Destiny. Yeah. yeah. Mm, maybe. Yeah. If she you comes out. I think she's. Oh. Go- I think Blanca's going to come back to her and question her some more. Because, you know, especially that Angie has made this move against her. Oh, yeah. She's not letting it go. She's, she's going to find some dirt. On yeah. Angie, so that's the only viable thing to go back on right now. Mm-hmm. So we'll see what happens with that. So Tommy and Lakeisha. Yeah. Do you think anything comes from that? I don't know. Keisha seemed like she kind of playing with it. You know, she was having a conversation with Tasha and everything like that. But um, I mean, it seemed like Tommy was really coming at her for guidance. I mean, he wanted he wanted something too, but still, <laughs> he was coming at her with some kind of you know some help because he don't he don't have anybody he can talk Must to say, either. He has nobody. He has nobody he can really talk to. So Keisha's kind of the moral ground for everybody right now. When yeah. You think about it because you know she was talking to Tasha and made Tasha uh, acknowledge that the fact that y'all been lying to your kids the whole life and you been created liars. Which was a big moment. That that life. was a great moment. I thought that was really pivotal because that really made her realize that you know, you gotta be uh, responsible for everything that you created. Yep. Really. Yeah. That that moment at the end of the episode, it didn't do much for me because Tariq didn't cry. Yeah. He 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 tried. He <laughs> tried. He tried. But it's just like he just tried to go to her arms. Yeah. And a single tear on her face. Yeah. I was just like. I was just like, yeah, you didn't quite make me feel it. Like, Tasha was getting me. Yeah. But you, like, you got to drop a tear. You can't say you miss her. Yeah. And then, like, your face must be dry. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. You can't do that. It, it just doesn't do anything for me, man. Yeah. And what about this new agent that just so happened to pop up and bump into Angela unexpectedly? I don't I, think I it's... find his name. I don't think it's unexpected. Because, yeah, I mean, that. unless she's just trying to get a booty call. But other that than that... That nigga works for the Jimenez. Hmm. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, I could, I could see that. Yeah, that could work. She, Cause she caught, she casually told him, you know, I have a hint, you know, it's n- none solid, but you know, a hit on the Jimenez brothers, like or on Diego. And the guy's like, yeah, well, we should meet up. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's just like, you know, maybe I'm only in town for one more day. Like, come yeah, on, exactly. man. Yeah. That that's def. He's he definitely works for somebody. You know, he works in Washington, D.C. They're the biggest drug gang in the in the United States. So, of course, they're going to have people in high places. Right. And I think that person is going to be him. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you could tell when he was picking up her folder. He kind of looked at it. Yeah, yeah, he something. yeah I caught that. So, yeah, he yeah I mean, he, he doesn't have good intentions, in my opinion. I, I think it's more than the booty call. Uh, if I, <laughs> okay. If I can. <laughs> so, any more predictions for what's going to happen in the next episode? or Because, like... After this setup episode, I I, they, I don't feel like they cleared up like the Not direction. Nah, like I'm still kind of a little lost as far as like exactly where they're gonna go. So yeah, I I, I don't know, you know. Yeah, it's the the direction hasn't been like the other seasons. Yeah, as it to start off with, because mm-hmm. you know last season we had the clear goal of getting Ghost out of jail, you know, and everything yeah. like that, and that motivated the first half of the season. And I'm not seeing that progress here. There's not no real, you know, I thought it was going to be getting Dre. Yeah. But it's like, even that's kind of on the back burner a little bit, you know. So I don't know where they're typically heading. And like we were talking earlier, this fourth episode needs to be a a game changer. I feel that way. It it has to be something to have us talking, you know, about, oh, my God, this. Because I feel like we haven't had those power oh my god movements yet ever since the first episode episode one but this is episode three but still (laughs) i feel like i feel feel like it's usually something every episode like power usually does something if it's not big even if it's small it's something to get you talking 
And I feel like this one could have been the whole Teresi flip or so-called flip, whatever it is, to get you thinking a little bit, but well, I still. Think it, I think it was a little bit of the Teresi thing and seeing uh, Kanan plan yeah, starting to shape up with him yeah. Yeah, mysteriously yeah. popping up next to 2-Bit and 2-Bit not thinking anything of Nothing it. at oh, all. Oh, shit. What's up, K? He way yeah. too comfortable. Yeah, yeah. And, like, he didn't, like, did he not know what was going on between him and Dre? Like, really? Speak. Yeah. I don't think so. I was just like, hey, y'all don't know. haven't seen 2-Bit for a while. So, yeah. you know, it would, I mean, to me, it didn't come off as weird. So you think 2-Bit is going to ha- act on his own or yeah, Kanan is gonna, just going to manipulate that? Like, Yo, I'm going to make you my number two. Mm. And, yeah, and I thought he would football. try to pull some stuff like go up to Diego on his own and be like, "Yo, I killed that dude." You think nah. he'll do that? Nah. Mm. I mean, he's reckless, but I mean, I feel like he's reckless with a purpose, you know. Yeah. So okay. he I, he knows Diego will probably kill him right there. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're right. And what I think. You, what, what did you grade the episode, man? Oh man, I had to give it a C, man. I gave it a C only because I'm still. I feel like they're still trying to set us up. I'm so confused. I feel like everything's everywhere at this point. So I, I gave it a C. Yeah, I mean, I I pretty much agree with you. I mean, I give it a C minus. It was a solid episode. It's oh, yeah. got some oh, some setup material and everything, but we set up last episode too. So you know, like like we said, I feel like episode four, it needs to give us something to salivate over for seven days because. Right now, it's just like Power comes back on Sunday, but I'm not amped about it. Yeah, Coming I'm not excited on about sun, it. Like the next Sunday. I'm going to watch it, but I'm not super excited. Stay up till midnight, like you know, like you were on the first episode. So, you know. Yeah, same here. I give it a C. It's just, you know, with the... This is a 10-episode order season, right? So yeah. it's just like, you know, we're not getting 12. <laughs> we're not getting 15. We're getting 10. So yeah. in the most, you got to get out of the most out of those 10 episodes. And I felt that was a strong thing about the previous seasons. Like, you know, every season they made the most out of each episode. Not to say yeah. they're not doing it with this one, but it doesn't just have the same strong impact as the previous season has. And, like, I was hyped to see uh, uh, Ghost, Tommy, and all of them get back together. But now it looks like. That's not even happening. So yeah. like, I mean, they're hanging out. I mean, they're hanging yeah. out, but but on the sides, you see like little small hints here and there. That, yeah, the, the dynamic is cool to see, and it's cool to see like see how the power will shift between them because yeah. at this moment, Kanan has the best shot at anything oh, right now, and it's just like Tommy, he's conflicted, and yeah. Ghost is just lost. Most of them. Yeah. yeah. So. And his feelings. Yeah, absolutely, man. I'm I'm looking forward to. An action-packed episode. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's been this week's review of Power. Are we on the same team? Episode three. Make sure you follow us. And matter of fact, watch the playlist. Yeah. And catch up on all the other reviews we done did. We reviewed the whole last season. I think that's when we started doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Even though we saw the other seasons, we didn't right. review them. But, you know, check those out. Check out some of the reaction videos we got up, man. We got a great Nicki Minaj reaction video. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. And just check out some of the other great things we're doing on this channel coming up. <laughs> all right, uh, man. Peace. All right, peace.